Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today, I'll be showing you how I do one of my prestige um, painting, which is a painting of a tiger using fluid art technique. By creating an image of an animal or shapes that I want to, I actually invented two of my own techniques. One is called the detail pour, which is basically pouring paste in details. And second is called the stitch pour, um, means I do parts by parts and then stitch them together like watercolor stitch technique, but this is for acrylic paint. So this is crucial, especially if you can't finish painting one piece of... Um, artwork in that day and you need to continue on the next day you can always use the stitch technique and to basically do parts by parts so um, these are the two techniques that that I have uh, made up uh, and it works really well for me from the rest of my paintings and as we all know pouring fluids and hoping for a shape to come out is actually very difficult, especially on a big canvas because the paint will all get to, uh, get too heavy in the center of the canvas and everything will just pull to the center. So this requires a lot of planning, a lot of uh, preparations, um, as well as uh, sketching in advance and planning the, of the colors in advance. So I've done all this um, beforehand, before pouring. And as you can see, I've already sketched a tiger to, to give me a rough idea of where I want it to be as well as my guideline. So um, yeah, um, I, I, I use a few techniques to this. I do a straight pour. Um, there's also a um, dash pour. There's also a bloom pour. There's also swipes. So there are a lot of different techniques are combined into one, um, which you'll see later uh, as you watch through this whole video. Right, I'll stop talking now. I just hope that you guys enjoy this process of uh, making this tiger piece using fluid art technique. So enjoy!